Today we're making a meatloaf for one. This tender and juicy oven baked mini meatloaf is topped with a sweet and tangy glaze. It's easy to make and filled with flavor. Best of all, it's the perfect amount for one person. You may even find yourself with a very small amount of leftovers to enjoy the next day, especially if you serve a side dish along with it. So let's get started. We're gonna start by heating our pan on medium heat and we're gonna to add to the pan a tablespoon of olive oil. And to the olive oil, we'll add in two ounces of chopped onions, which is about a half a cup of chopped onions. And we're gonna cook this for about two minutes until the onions become translucent and soften. And to the onions, we're gonna add in one clove of garlic, chopped, a teaspoon of dried thyme, a half a teaspoon of salt, and a quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper. And we'll cook this for about a minute more. It's starting to smell so good. Now it may be tempting to just throw the vegetables into the meat without cooking them on the stove first, but don't. It's really important to saute the vegetables. It adds so much flavor to the meatloaf and adds moisture to the meat. It just takes a few extra minutes. It smells so good. So I've got about six ounces of ground beef. So I'm gonna add that to a bowl. And then I'm gonna put the vegetables that we just sauteed into the mixing bowl along with the meat. And then we're gonna add in a half a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, an egg, and three tablespoons of breadcrumbs. And we're gonna take a spoon and just mix it all together. Make sure all the ingredients are well mixed. And then we're gonna take a small baking dish. This one's about five inches. And we'll put the meat into the dish. And just use your hands and shape it into an oval sort of shape. And you can really use any size baking dish. I like this five inch size. You wanna make sure though that you have some room around the edges. You leave a little space in the dish. Leaving some space gives the meatloaf the opportunity to caramelize on the sides. It's really delicious this way. And we're gonna bake this in a 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes. Okay, so the meatloaf has been cooking for about 30 minutes. And next we're gonna make the meatloaf glaze. And I like to just use ketchup and molasses mixed together. I love that sweet and tangy combination. But you can use your favorite barbecue sauce instead if you like. So we're gonna do a quarter of a cup of ketchup. Measure that real quickly in here. And then we'll add a tablespoon of molasses. And again, I love this combination, but if you've got a favorite barbecue sauce you love, by all means, use that instead. We'll stir this together. So easy. And then we'll spoon the glaze over the meatloaf. And then we're gonna put the meatloaf back in the oven and let it cook for another 15 minutes. Okay, so the meatloaf smells amazing. So we're gonna just let the meatloaf rest. We're gonna cover it with a little piece of aluminum foil or you can use a plate. And we just cover it like this. We cover it because it helps slice the loaf and it locks in all the delicious juices. So we'll let this rest for about 10 minutes. Okay, so we'll take the foil off. Oh, it smells wonderful. 
So if you've been subjected to a dry, tasteless meatloaf in the past, it's really time to revisit this classic comfort food dish. Just follow the easy steps in this recipe and you will have the best tasting tender meatloaf. Well, you can find the full recipe in the video description below. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to follow, like, and subscribe, and check out the rest of our videos. Also check out OneDishKitchen.com to find hundreds of single serving recipes. At One Dish Kitchen, cooking for one is all we do. Bye for now.